the, the main reason for this meeting was uh, to get all the information from uh, the Home Office. Uh, certainly after the, the Windrush uh, scandal, there was a, a lot and there is still a lot of anxiety uh, uh, under our EU citizens living in Britain that the same experience, that they could have the same experience uh, in, their, uh, in, in their future. Uh, so for us it's important that uh, the system that uh, will apply after the withdrawal uh, is a, a smooth system. Uh, we want it cost-free. That is still a point of discussion. Uh, we want also a system that uh, uh, is not only applicable for most of these EU citizens, but also for the vulnerable people. Oh, many people who are maybe not capable to use these uh, uh, digital devices uh, to apply for this uh, uh, settled status. And uh, we need also a special regime for, for them. We are working also from all sides very hard towards our uh, member states uh, to have uh, an easy a system also for the UK nationals uh, living on the continent and that they have a status that will apply in all 27 member states so that when the UK national living in one country of the European Union has a for example a residence permit that it is also uh, a permit that is uh, uh, applicable in all 27 member states so that there is no need uh, to uh, uh, eternally ask for uh, new permits. We agreed also uh, to have uh, follow-up uh, meetings uh, in the coming months uh, before uh, the uh, system uh, will be put in place. One uh, application or registration per family has to be sufficient. That has to be possible. Secondly, we are also looking that it becomes a real a system of registration rather than application. That means that if people fill in all the uh, data that are necessary, that from that moment on there is uh, this status and it is not necessary to wait, to wait for weeks and months, not to say years, because before uh, the, the home office is, is, uh, is agreeing uh, with, uh, uh, with this. And we are looking naturally also for a cost-free because it is not uh, the uh, it, it's not the fault of the EU citizens that they have to ask for a new status. It's because of Brexit. Oh, the times. Um, <clears throat> the safeguard in the withdrawal agreement um, is the independent authority, the independent yeah. monitoring authority. What what is your understanding of what that authority will be? how it will be constituted and, and how it will work as a That's, safeguard, because it seems to be a very significant part of the agreement. That will be uh, uh, an important remark in our letter that we will send. We want to know how, this, uh, how it will work, uh, this uh, independent uh, body, uh, independent authority, so that it can be seen as a real protection uh, for the EU citizens. Uh, what guarantees, uh, what the composition will be. Uh, this will be also, that is a concern that has been raised uh, several times this morning uh, and will be also raised in the letter. We want assurance about that and we want to know how it will work in practice.